In 1905, Russia experienced humiliating losses in its war with Japan, then Bloody Sunday and the Revolution of 1905. Tarsit's troops fired upon a peaceful, unarmed crowd, further dividing Nicholas II from his people. Widespread strikes, riots, and the famous mutiny on the battleship Potikamen ensued. The Russian Revolution of 1905 was said to be a major factor to the February revolutions of 1917. The events of Bloody Sunday triggered a line of protest. A council of workers called the St. Petersburg Soviet was created in all this chaos, and the beginning of a communist political protest had begun. After the entry of the Ottoman Empire on the side of the Central Powers in October 1914, Russia was deprived of major trade route from the Ottoman Empire, which followed with a minor economic crisis in which Russia became incapable of providing munitions to their army in the years leading to 1917. However, the problems were merely administrative and not industrial, as Germany was producing great amounts of munitions, with through constantly fighting into two major battlefronts. Nicholas II was the last emperor of Russia, ruling for only 23 years. His reign saw the fall of the Russian Empire from being one of the four most great powers of the world to economic and military collapse. In 1917, two revolutions swept through Russia, ending centuries of imperial rule and setting in motion political and social changes that would lead to the formation of the Soviet Union. On March 10th, the strike spread among all of Petrograd's workers and irate mobs destroyed police stations. Several factories elected deputies to the Petrograd Soviet or Council of Workers' Committees, following the model devised during the 1905 revolution. On March 11th, the troops of the Petrograd Army Garrison were called out to quell the uprising. In some encounters, Regiments opened fire, killing demonstrators, but the protesters kept to the streets and the troops began to waver. On March 11, Nicholas again dissolved the Duma. On March 12, the revolution triumphed when regiment after regiment of the Petrograd garrison defected to the cause of the demonstrators. Two days later, the Petrograd Soviet issued Order No. 1, which instructed Russian soldiers and sailors to obey only those orders that did not conflict with the directives of the Soviet. The next day, March 15, Tsar Nicholas II abdicated to the throne in favor of his brother Michael, who refused the crown and brought the end to the Tsar's autocracy. The soldiers subsequently formed committees that elected deputies to the Petrograd Soviet. The imperial government was forced to resign and the Duma reformed a provisional government that peacefully lead with the Petrograd Soviet for control of the revolution. The provisional government was an alliance between liberals and socialists who wanted political reform. They set up democratically elected executive and constituent assembly. At the same time, socialists also formed the Petrograd Soviet which ruled alongside the provisional government, an arrangement termed dual power. This revolution appeared to break out spontaneously, without any real leadership or formal planning. Russia had been suffering from a number of economic and social problems, which were compounded by the impact of World War I. Bread rioters and disaffected soldiers from the city's garrison joined industrial strikers on the streets. As more and more troops deserted and with loyal troops away at the front, the city fell into chaos. In the aftermath of the February Revolution, power was shared between the weak provisional government and the Petrograd Soviet. Just months later, the newly installed provisional government was itself overthrown by the more radical Bolsheviks led by Vladimir Lenin. Then, October 24th and 25th in 1917, the Bolshevik party leader Vladimir Lenin launched a nearly bloodless coup d'état against the provisional government. This revolution was called the Bolsheviks or October Revolution. Bolsheviks and their allies occupied government buildings and other strategic locations in Petrograd and soon formed a new government with Lenin as its head. Treatment of peasants by partitions 
poor working conditions of city workers in the fledging industrial economy and the spreading of democratic ideas from the West by political activists, leading to a growing political and social awareness of the lower class. Dissatisfaction of Polarians was compounded by food shortages and military failures. Civil war erupted among the Reds, the Bolsheviks, the whites, anti-socialist factions, and non-Bolshevik socialists. It continued for several years, during which the Bolsheviks defeated both the whites and all rival socialists. In 1920, the anti-Bolsheviks were defeated, and in 1922, the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics, or also known as USSR, was established. <laughs>